high heel shoes. Sister loved wearing those high heel shoes. Feet bruised, corns and tattered silk stockings mocking her. Yet she forced herself into those high heel shoes just as she did spiritually in so many other situations in her life. You see, strife had somehow become her friend. She felt no need to amend her walk. Her talk even supported this discordant, non-symphonious cadence of living. <laughs> yes, she put on her shoes and got her walk on each night from dusk to dawn. She was on a hunt for what she did not know. She had Long abandoned her pimp, you know, that guy that spells out each night's agenda with his propaganda. Now, she had her own, and she alone made it known to the world. She was looking for someone to fill this empty ache deep in her womb, in the tomb of her desires for affection, and in her derelictionist ways, her days were meant for sleep, mostly wrapped up in her toasty delusions and the warmth of absence of companionship. And her days and their dreams slipped away again into the coming night, driving her, de enlivening her, denying her the inner truth of love she so wanted. Her, and her consciousness haunted her continuously, fervently, unmercilessly. She thought about those shoes often. She loved the way they made her seemingly feel. For once in those shoes, those high heel shoes, life again was real. And she had her appeal again. She could feel again, even if it was delusions. It did not matter. Fuck them all. She could flatter herself. And about her cracked self-esteem and her dreams, they were hers to create as she cared as she dared. But all that she ever dared to do was live another day. And her soul splayed open for all takers who sought to make her. And each night, again, she would initiate her prowl, seeking solace from her non-acknowledged pains. And that alone was her only profanity. She excised the state to maintain her sanity. And each night, somehow on her hunt, she became the hunted. For the beasts from the east side of the city, you know what they wanted. Like children upon their mother's bosom, they just wanted to suck on her breast. And the fellows from the west side as well, yes, they too had a story to tell. And they were willing to tell it. For they too had an agenda to bend her over again. And again, like they were accomplishing something profound with their lives, like it was a quest, they thought. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs> they were the gardeners of asphalt and concrete, the new jack pimps of our street, and they had seeds to sow. You know, liquid in nature, in the garden of her innocent womb, that tomb where things came to die. They only wanted the body of this has-been hottie to feel their sweat dripping across their brow and into their eye, blinding their souls, only to fall upon the soiled sheets of their illegitimate character. Their shallowness only sought out her momentary pleasures and the womanly treasures of this desolate woman, this lonely woman, who wore those high heel shoes. <laughs>